For this video, we're going to be talking about advanced scoping, and more specifically, the ability to pass through functions to a directive to extend use cases in multiple different ways. If you've worked with directives a lot, you've probably seen that it can often become very single-minded, and it's tempting to create multiple different directives just to serve relatively similar but slightly varied approaches to a certain problem. What passing through a function gives us is the ability to create just one directive that can solve the same problem in different ways, depending entirely on what function has been passed through. What I mean by that is you can see here we have a single directive, debug, just like we used in our dynamic template. But instead of using type attribute to render it differently, this time we're going to use this logger attribute that you can see here to debug a message out differently. The logger takes a function. This can either be, as you see here, console which takes two parameters, both level and message, or down here on line 15, just store, which only takes one parameter, message. These methods are defined up here exactly as you'd imagine. They're both pretty straightforward. The console one simply uses our browser console to either log or use some other different level of messaging to print out a message, or we can use the store method here to add a message to our array. And then finally, our debug directive is very straightforward. It's just a template that takes a message, a select box for a level, and then a button to actually execute this function. But what's powerful about passing through methods to a directive, as you can see here, is that we're not bound by the exact same method signature when we're calling different functions. Instead, Angular receives an object hash. And what this object hash does is it takes the full object, and it lets you specify as many parameters as you want. So you can see here that we're passing an object with both level and message to every logger. However, if the logger we've specified doesn't need or use one of those parameters, Angular simply ignores it. So what that means is that our store function never even receives the level parameter. And it doesn't matter that that normally would be passed through in a different order. Angular is smart enough to just drop it entirely and only pass through the message parameter. What this means when we render it is we end up with two completely different debugging directives that executes itself in two very different ways. The two log array simply takes a message, here's my message, and adds it to the array like you can see here. In contrast, if I pull up the console, pin this to the top just so you can see how it comes out, and I pass through a warning and press log, it comes through as a warn. I can also change this to just a debug message and change this message over here to see a completely different level come through. And so our console logger enables us to take advantage of those additional parameters, even though our log array storage method didn't care about it at all. That's just a simple way of how you can see that passing through functions allows us to extend a directive to multiple different use cases without having to create multiple directives or know in advance exactly how each function is going to be executed.